rise of kingdoms loves to show me ads on instagram for some reason so today i collected a bunch of them and we're gonna be taking a look at them together because they are so bro they're so cringe i know people must be downloading and trying the game because of these ads but i just don't understand and as somebody who's been playing this game for like three years i feel like i can give uh, some unique insight to the validity of these advertisements okay so let's jump right into it before we even press play on this one look it says lilith auction in the background here they went through a lot of effort to make this one possible okay i, I have high expectations dear rise of kingdom players Stay tight and we are going to review the long anticipated sports car. Why is a sports car long anticipated? They've been around forever. I'll let this one slide. She's kind of cute. Nice accent. Let's see where this goes. With the starting price of 3 million. So it's an auction based on power. Apparently power is now a currency here in Rise of Kingdoms, in case you guys didn't know. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's the action begin. 3.5 million brother with the earrings really my man looks like he could be the lead singer of a pop punk band in the early 2000s that has that one good song that you just can't remember the name of but he's got 3.5 million power so sports car could be his let's see where it goes four millions eight million power and all the t4 units have been unlocked all the tier four units have been unlocked oh my goodness i chose japan as my civilization you know, with Japan's 5% resource gathering bonus, I can gather resources faster than anyone else and use them for my infrastructure and military development. Wow. Wow. The acting is just so bad, bro. It's so bad. Does anyone have high power? 8 million. Going once. 8 million. Going twice. 12 million power. My cavalry, infantry, and archers, all of them have been upgraded to tier 5. Hold up, my man said he has 12 million power in all tier 5s. Broski, uh, that's not possible. You can't, it's, your power would be way higher than 12 million. I don't understand. The people who made the ad don't even know the progression of the, of the game. They haven't even played the game, clearly, and here, they're using footage that it's not game it's not gameplay footage but hey i mean 12 million power that's some that's some big dick energy okay seriously how did you do that that's what i'm saying how did you get tier 5 units with only 12 million power i did it by selecting the latest civilization in egypt oh he did it by selecting the latest civilization of course it's egypt each of you has only one buff to raise your power Meanwhile, I have a 1.5% build speed bonus and a 1.5% research speed bonus. The animations here, beautiful. They look incredible. And of course, if you'd never played the game before and you see this, you might think, oh, that's probably gameplay footage. It's not, okay? This looks nothing like the game, but it is cool. I will say though, that this is technically accurate information about the Egypt civilization. Good job. That lets me build my city and upgrade my tech at a faster speed. By researching economic technology, I can gather resources faster. By research- So again, all this stuff is, is cool, but I'm actually bored. Uh, I feel like they lost me at this part of the ad here. I don't really care what he's talking about. Using military technology, I can unlock advanced unit types to greatly increase my power. Gentlemen, the spark cars is yours. My brother in Christ, what is this? It's so corny. It's like the director of the ad was like, oh, how do we add a romance element to the ad? Oh, just have her give him a kiss because this is preying on like the most primitive male desires sports cars and easily available women that fall for you because why because you play rise of kingdoms and have 12 million power like that's the corniest shit i've ever heard in my life oh oh okay okay don't worry guys he gets the girl in the end wow what a classic trope that they just threw in there with no plot development at all i love that Egypt awakens. Chaos awaits. The music they played there was like way too stereotypical, but honestly, I think this little clip here is is cool, and I feel like them promoting Egypt is 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 solid. So at the end there, that that's fine, I guess. But guys, you you gotta do you gotta do better than this. It's just I I just have no words. Like, do people actually download the game with the expectation that you're gonna win a sports car? Like, what what was the point of this ad? I I don't get it. Let's move on to the next ad, shall we? It looks like this one's going to be Viking themed, and we've got some more real life actors, which really top tier content. Go Viking, burn! 
Go on, man. It's been one second and I've got many questions. The facial expression, like what, what, what is that? And, and and this guy right here is obviously hey. this guy right here. So clearly they ran out of budget for this ad, okay? Just recycling the same actors. Oh, no. You people don't know Vikings at all. Oh gosh, I'm just so misunderstood. Alas, it's okay. Everybody knows that Roman infantry have a 5% defense and marching speed bonus. It's porn acting. It's literally porn acting. It's so bad, I can't even suspend my disbelief, even for a little bit. It's like a children's play. Like, six-year-old kids are, are up on the stage and they don't know the script because they can barely read. And what's this pompous stance he's got going on here? Like, oh my god, I'm so much better than you. I don't even want to watch the rest of it. I'm done already. How can you defeat them? Ha! Rome, infantry. Don't you know the Vikings counter damage buff can defend against your attacks? Yeah, what are you, some sort of idiot or something? Ah, yes, defeat your foes with intellect. That's what you'll be able to do if you download today. Really? Well, Rome has a gathering speed bonus and can collect resources quicker than you can. Why, we're already one step ahead of you in developing a civilization. Shush! There's no way he made a face like that at the end and also is taking this seriously. Like, this guy has got to be top tier trolling right now. Like, I get that, like, this is his job and he's like, he's paid to act in, in mobile ads and I, I get that. But they really just let him do, they really, like, no one makes that face for real. Like, there's a certain amount of dramatic effect that you add to your acting to make it believable, but if you go overboard, okay, you look like a fool. Sure. He said, shush that was really in the script he just shushed him he said julius caesar shush genius military tactic right there if your enemy keeps talking simply shush them and it's 100 percent effective berserkers are good at plundering we even have a troop load bonus in rise of kingdoms we don't this this is not this is not a berserker from rise of kingdoms i actually don't even know what game this is from but this is not like it's not even it's not even close and then they just threw the ui up top for like why are they trying to convince people that this is real gameplay footage like what's what's going on here you don't need to farm hard we just plunder our enemy cities to gain resources quickly and upgrade our kingdom i love the i love the clenched fist girl i really mean business don't mess with me and again in the background here like it's not even close it's clearly an entirely different game like i i understand the difference between like cgi footage versus game footage right but this is cgi footage that's not even trying to look like the game like what is this like here in this frame you could see actual characters from the game which makes sense in previous frames we're just looking at just generic mobile game stock footage character i don't dare to say that the vikings are weak <laughs> <laughs> cringe. cringe 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 delete this ad delete it delete it delete it delete it delete it unbearable it is unbearable and the fact that 21,000 people viewed this ad nauseating they were like hey can you make a can you make an advertisement for us for i don't know a hundred bucks that's a hand painted shield my guy that's cardboard like again i i know that it's funny and it, it's so poorly done that it's actually entertaining but there weren't any jokes in it that's the thing like if you're trying to be funny eventually you have to tell a joke or make something obviously a joke this was just so poorly done that it was funny so it's not even like people are gonna see this and be like oh that game looks kind of funny i'm gonna download it like no people are just gonna look at it and be like what the fuck was that what kind of ghetto knockoff brand bullshit type of game is this the message that this sends is that rise of kingdoms is a low quality game without a budget for ads that's what this says because that's what this is how is lilith working with everybody but me like brother I'm starting to get heated. Not more live acting. God, why? Why? Boss, my power is 500,000. Can I join your alliance? Lame, go away. Later. It's like these ads were made by literal aliens that have been studying humans for like six months. And somebody just went up to them and was like, hey aliens, what does general human communication look like? This is what they would give you. Literal, again, porn acting no one has ever had a social interaction like this where he goes uh, lame uh, you la you're so lame you fucking loser lame i love i love the little <laughs> like he's in utter disbelief at how big of a pathetic loser his employee is go away he hit him with the go away 
what the fuck is balenciadas is that like walmart brand balenciaga like what Later. hey spongebob called he wants his transitions back they really made this with minamoto in the background that's that's this little minamoto's back there Eight million power? How did you do that so quickly? It's important to choose the right civilization. I chose the Japanese civilization, which has a 5% resource gathering speed buff and the 30... Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. I feel like I'm in a different timeline. Who is downloading a game based on this ad? 430,000 views? Do you know how much money they spent not only to produce the ad, but to force people to see this while they're scrolling through Instagram, looking at butt models? If I'm on Instagram, looking at some thick cheeks, I am not stopping to watch porn acting of a mobile game. And I'm not gonna follow the storyline where he's like, whoa, how did you do that so quickly? It's not like I, the viewer, I'm thinking, oh yeah, how did he do that quickly? Like, I know it's a shit ad. It's lying. That's how we did it so quickly. It's not real. I can't suspend my, my disbelief. It's not possible. I do not share the shock and awe value here because they didn't, it's not, it's not good. Basically, it's, it's horrible. How did you do that so quickly? It's important to choose the right civilization. Yeah, you fucking idiot. That's what he wanted to say. I know that's what he wanted to say. And then they're going to talk about Japan again, which they talked about that in the other ad. Guys, Japan is like the worst civilization to start as. Like, objectively, it's just, it's so bad. And they have so many ads telling you to pick Japan. People are going to listen and they're going to be started on the wrong foot. They're only doing this because I think japan is good in the american markets as like a sellable culture they could package up japan and all the white people love it or something i don't know or maybe because anime is so popular these days that they feel like it's easy to peddle japan i don't know but it's terrible advice they have a 30 percent scout speed bonus which is fucking garbage it's basically not even a buff look at how many rock this guy has my man has a lot of rock this is a cool screenshot okay it shows the different castle designs and it shows in like this 3d open world very cool stuff there not relevant to the game it's not how the game looks it's not like yeah they're using assets or designs similar to how the game is but this is not you're not going to get this as gameplay it's not even close send scouts to various villages to recruit a large number of soldiers in a short period of time and increase my army units in advance then i started to see that's the kind of gameplay i'm looking for boys okay this looks sick this looks dope, okay? This would be fire if we had some sort of game mode in Rise of Kingdoms that looked like this, where you could actually put your units in different spots on the map and get different outcomes as a result of the strategic placement of Siege in the back, for example, and having infantry up front or whatever the case might be, but it's not. We don't get this. We get gypped, actually, and we don't have anything like this at all. And it's kind of unfortunate because, you know, th this is the one part of the ad that actually looks cool when we're not focusing on the damn porn acting. Focus on the military technology tree. Upgrading low-ranking soldiers into high-ranking Japanese samurai. That Poggers! Oh my gosh, boy samurais, yay! That's how I rapidly increase power in a short time. This is literally the China civilization. Like, this is like, look, it's the Chinese buildings from Rise of Kingdoms. I thought he picked Japan. What happened to that? He was talking all that shit a moment ago about how great Japan is. And now look, he's he switched to China. How did he lose power? He's only at 9 million now. He was at 15 million like a few seconds ago. I thought he was the one raiding cities, not getting raided himself. There's no consistency here. Also, he bought like 40,000 gems since he lost all that power. What is going on here? Okay. I am confusion, Lilith. I am confusion. Short time. Hey, man, you're the boss now. Can we team up? <laughs> You're kind of lame. Maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs> that was the punchline. That was the joke, dude. Oh my god, that was so funny and creative. L M A O, boys. Am I right? <laughs> it's like the whole ad was made for people who hate their job and they just wish they could have some semblance of an exchange like this with the man who they think is ruining their life it's cringe it's it's actually cringe that they're like i feel like you need to have an, an iq of like 70 for this to even be like entertaining like like you cannot suspend your disbelief for this it's not possible glory once more
and then instead of showing samurai they show rome's units here because who cares about consistency right we go from japan to china to rome whatever okay finally we have one without all the horrible acting okay i'm sure this one will be a gem all in its own right let's take a look can i join your alliance please our alliance doesn't allow for low power he hit him with the sad music and the go fuck yourself that's what that face says it says hey go fuck yourself to be honest this is a realistic exchange okay in the beginning of the game you're going to try to join a powerful alliance and they're not going to let you win because you're you're new okay I, I guess this is realistic they stole the they stole the spongebob thing again except this time we got bjorn ironside in the background okay our alliance won't allow for low power he's about to fuck his day up with some knowledge he's about to tell him how it really is 10 million power i just want you to watch just watch julius caesar's mouth 10 million power what was that also guys can we stop pretending that 10 million power is a lot of power 8 million 12 million it's not a lot that's not even close like what like what why are we pretending here why are we trying to tell these new players how it's not, it's not like that okay it's not like that how the heck do you do that well it's important to choose the right civilization in the no way they're gonna promote fucking japan again holy shit. every ad is is just shoving japan down your throat lilith is like guys not enough people are picking japan start pumping out the ads boys 147,000 views on this one telling people to pick japan the beginning i chose the japanese civilization which has a five percent resource gathering speed buff and the 30 percent scout march speed buff so in the beginning i was mainly see this footage here looks cool right and i i understand why they use this cgi footage that they make just specifically for the ads and it's not actually in the game but when you download the game you're gonna be disappointed it looks nothing like this training my troops also thanks to the 30 percent march speed buff i could send scouts to various villages. this is the same clip from the other ad i remember it because it says rock and they were wrong about the march speed fact villages to recruit a large number of soldiers in a shorter period of time and increase my army units in advance then so basically what they're saying is that you can send your scouts to recruit soldiers which okay technically that's true if you reveal fog and there's a village there and you can recruit like 50 tier one archers or whatever but they make it look like you're going to somebody else's village and and taking their troops which is not the case also this looks cool this actually looks pretty sick but this is not even close to in the game this looks like some sort of like orcish uh, stronghold in the middle of the mountains which is awesome i love that idea give it to me really okay actually give me this lilith i want to see this in the game i know you have barbarian keeps and and forts and whatever i want more i want something else drop me in red ridge mountains okay put ragnaros in the next update i don't care shake things up a bit i want to see it shorter period of time and increase my army units in advance then i started to focus on the military technology trade upgrading low ranking soldiers into high ranking japanese samurai that's how i rapidly increased power we saw this before too it's the same part of the ad it's a new ad for in a short time that's great uh, look let me send you the, the alliance invitation oh i forgot to tell you i'm your new alliance leader now <laughs> this is literally just a cgi version of the one with the guy and his boss in the car it just plays on that same power dynamic where oh actually i'm the king now oh actually i'm the badass in town now oh actually i'm the higher status alpha male just because i played a mobile game based off of the ad that i saw on instagram i mean come on guys who is falling for this who subconsciously sees this and thinks okay my life is lacking meaning and my life is ruined because my boss is a dickhead but if i download this game that i just saw the ad for then perhaps my life will be a little bit better because i can actually achieve something incredible in this game and just ignore my real life it's called escapism folks okay and don't don't buy it and i should i probably don't even have to say that who is really going to download off of this i would love to see the analytics for these ads how many people actually install the game out of 147,000 people who viewed the ad that's what i want to know if it's anything higher than 100 i would be shocked now what come and conquer they really went for quantity over quality with these okay they must have just shotgunned out money at all these cheap no-name brand marketing agencies that they found on fiverr and they're just like here's a couple of assets go make us an ad we'll give you 40 dollars and look at this one dude 
this isn't even geographically like what is this china is not west of egypt and rome is not like what am i looking at this can't be an accurate like, this is not even close to accurate on the planet on the real world like what's going on here god please i want rome why why the pyramid <laughs> Look, all of this must that would shatter you in two pieces, brother. He fell out of the sky and landed on his back on the top of the pyramid, bounced off. Look, in three front flips in the air, oh, and then he sticks the landing. 10 out of 10, boys. 10 out of 10. I'm not even gonna say anything. That was impressive. This must be because of some divine power. God is leading us to develop. Yo, shout out to God. It is. Build walls first. We don't have camels in Rise of Kingdoms. Actually, I'm feeling a little bit ripped off. I would like camels in Rise of Kingdoms. That would be actually kind of sick. Lilith, where are the camels? What have you done with them? And why are you hiding them from me? They're in the ad. They're not in the game. Where did they go? You implemented Egypt. This was a perfect opportunity to also implement said camels. And yet here we are camel list these are camels let's tame them i would love to if they were in the game <laughs> i like how they add the plus ones look at all these plus one rocks okay they make it look like it's just so easy to like gain resources over time all you need are some camels <laughs> awesome efficiency go find a water source and build a water wheel so we can brother it's the desert in one second they instantly spawned a what a water well like like i get the nile was a big deal for egypt but like where it at dough you just found this water in the middle of nowhere prepared for later i'll train a mighty army assemble time to rule the so that escalated quickly okay he went from having three camels collecting five rocks and then now all of a sudden he's you know what it was the power of god is actually what was able to help him build an entire civilization over the course of the 20 seconds that we've been watching this ad but in reality if you wanted to build a civilization this quickly in rise of kingdoms it would cost you probably five figures thousands of dollars ladies and gentlemen that's what it would cost you and they're trying to get you they're trying to suck you in here and be like yeah look how cool your egypt civilization could be come on download the game give it a try it's like they're vampires just trying to uh, just latch onto your wallet hey they got my wallet okay it's too late for me but you guys keep it shut the world build your kingdom now hang on here i actually want to evaluate this little screenshot for a second because first of all not not egypt uh second of all is this ireland like wh who what is i've never seen this guy before and he's got a broken beer bottle that would be pretty uh stereotypical of you to assume that the, the the irish guy is drunk or is he scottish like what is this he's clearly not roman or chinese and what is this down here it just says arab so you're saying arabia is is an island off the eastern coast of rome is that what you're telling me lilith oh my god dude i cannot wait for the day that these ads become illegal okay because they're not representative of the product this is not what you're getting when you download rise of kingdoms it's not even close and the bigger crime is that it's so cringe it is so unbearable like i am having a negative emotional response just like I, this is a form of torture having me watch these for you guys okay if any of you guys downloaded rise of kingdoms based off of an ad similar to one of the ones that we saw in this video i want you to comment down below and tell me why okay was it because it was so cringe was it because it was funny were you interested did you actually think it was legitimately a good ad i need to know i just please comment down below while you're down there if you liked the video go ahead and drop a like on it and if you think i've earned it subscribe to the channel with the notifications turned on with that being said thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace